friends, I am super excited to share this how-to video with you because this is a tassel that I have never made before. And I was inspired by some pictures that I saw on Pinterest. You know how Pinterest will like send you ideas and of course it knows that I make tassels. And so it sent me some pictures of uh, salt and pepper shaker tassels and I thought okay I got to do this I got to try this so here we are I happen to have a set of salt and pepper shakers that were given to me and they come from Japan and they are vintage and they are roosters and I thought it would be a lot of fun to turn these into some decorative tassels as usual, I have a mix of torn fabric, yarn, ribbon, trim. I got all that prepped as you saw in the beginning of the video, and now I am stacking it in my crisscross pattern as I usually do. I don't always do it, and you certainly don't have to do it that way. I just like the way that they tend to turn out once I tie them together. and let the tying begin as most of you know i put my string or yarn or whatever i'm going to use to tie right under the center of the little bundle that i created and i tie that in a double knot now we're going to have a look at one of the salt and pepper shakers that i have that i'm going to be working with you can see that the holes are in the front here so i actually had to have carl drill a hole in the top for me. I grabbed a piece of jewelry wire and I folded it in half. So now that the tassel fibers are together, the next thing we're going to do is grab the end of the piece that I tied the double knot with. And I am putting that through the eye of the jewelry wire. Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it up through the bottom of the rooster and then up through the little hole that was drilled into it. I probably should have had the hole drilled a little bit larger, but this string, it's nylon string, it does fit through. Now I am feeding my bead onto it, and then I'm gonna thread the string back through, and then I'm gonna put it back down through the rooster. Well, I should say salt and pepper shaker. I want to let you guys know that this is not the only way to make one of these tassels. This is just the way that I'm doing it. Now what I'm doing is I am tightening up the string. So when I fed it back down through the shaker, you know, there's some slack there. So I'm trying to make sure that I get it really tight so that the fibers are not so that there's no space between the fibers and the shaker. I want it nice and tight up against each other. Now that I have it where I want it, I am doing another double knot. So my mom has some chickens on her farm and she gave me these feathers and they are from her beautiful chicken named Goldie. So thank you Goldie for the beautiful feathers. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach a feather on each side of the tassel. I'm using some 3-in-1 adhesive. It's very similar to Fabri-Tac. Uh, I think one day I couldn't find Fabri-Tac, but I found this and it's, it's basically the same thing, I think. But anyway, that's what I'm using. And so I used it on the back side of the feather. And then once I get the feathers set in place, I'm going to snip off that extra piece that is kind of, you know, sticking up in the front. Now we get to go ahead and have a little bit of fun and we are going to add some 
pretty trim. Now, I believe I received this tassel trim from my friend Pam at Pamela's Creations. Pretty sure that she sent that to me in a Happy Mail with a bunch of other wonderful things. So thank you, Pam, so much for this wonderful tassel trim. It is perfect for this tassel. I'm going to add one more piece of trim to this tassel just as a finishing touch. You will notice that when I ran the black thread up through the salt and pepper shaker, I added a bead and you can see it sitting on top of the salt and pepper shaker. So I am threading some really pretty green trim through that bead and that is what we're going to use as the hanger. Friends, here is my finished rooster tassel. Well, this is one of two. I will be sure to get pictures of them hanging. I absolutely love them. Let me grab the other one so you can see it. What I did with it, oh, here it is. Here's the other one. So this one is more of a green and natural theme. And then this one you can see has green and pink. And on this one I added two feathers. My mom has a chicken named Goldie. And so these are feathers from Goldie that I put in this one. Also, I'll mention that these are salt and pepper shakers. And they were purchased in Japan and brought to the States. And they are vintage. I will have these wonderful, one-of-a-kind tassels listed in my Etsy shop if you are interested. Thanks for watching. See you soon.